Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and a Silent Shores save <laughs> update. It has been a little bit of a while because, well, I think if you watched my previous video where I was talking, um, I am looking for to be promoted for a section manager in our store. So I'm quite busy trying to, you know, prove myself and prove my worth, <laughs> should I say. So I I have been a little bit neglecting the channel and uh, the same as is, and I have to apologize for that. It feels bad to be so tired after work and have other things that I need to focus on instead of having to do my hobby. <laughs> Because uh, this is my hobby. This is, this is something I do for my own fun and not for money. All right? Because I, I go to an actual job where I get paid. I, I don't get paid by YouTube by no means. And I don't expect ever to be paid by YouTube. Um, my growth has been very, very slow. Uh, I started 2017, if I remember correctly. And it, it, it has been very, very, very slow. Uh, many people grow to 1k within two weeks or something because they are super active on social media and they promote themselves very, very well. I, on the other hand, I always have liked my friends as a smaller group, as a more close-knit group. So I want you to know that I appreciate every single one of you who watch my videos. I know I have this and this many sub subscribers at the moment, but my views are not there. I know that and watch time is not there. I know that, but I appreciate every single second that you spent with me. I just want you to know that I'm truly enjoying to see that someone has been watching even a couple of minutes of my videos. Okay, that makes a big difference for me. Uh, but in the Silent Shores, uh, we have done some work and I want to uh, start by going through a little bit of a <clears throat> lots and stuff like that that I have done here in San Sequoia. I, I'm sorry, I'm butchering the name probably. I, I don't know uh, how to pronounce it. I want to particularly visit this house on the top left corner. It is nighttime. It's a little, well, it's early morning. I, I don't want to go fiddle with the uh, MCC right now because, you know, um, the storylines or whatever, we can go and knock on the door and go see these people if they want to invite us in at this hour. Yes, they do. Excellent. Um, this is a house which I uploaded on gallery even, if I remember correctly. Let's go and actually have a look. And unable to go online. Oh. Well, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's here anyway. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's uh, actually... Uh, up and going on gallery as well. Um, the floor plan is very simple. I saw this similar floor plan on Pinterest, so I used that. Um, this is not from my own brain whatsoever. I just, you know, went and saw it and I was like, okay, that's freaking cute. I'm gonna go for it. And that's what I did. There is a toddler an infant room over there. Was it an infant room? Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, oh no. <laughs> infant is on the floor. Under the bed a little bit. Then if I remember right, oh my gosh. There's something going on with the uh, bunk bed table combo that the, it doesn't want to keep any of the items underneath here. I might need to come and fix that here because it's pissing me off. It's really annoying. This is not the first time I've seen this happen. Uh, it even happens on my solar uh, system like a challenge a lot and it's really annoying. Um, to keep in mind, I do have most of the packs. Uh, however, I do not have um, some of the kits. Do I need to really go and look them up? I think I do. Hang on a minute. Let's, let's exit the main menu to see what I actually own at the moment because I... <laughs> I can't remember them all, all right. Uh, let's go and see my packs. Okay, so I have all the expansion packs up to grow together. I did buy that one in high school years. 
Uh, these are my game packs. I do not own a um, couple of them, I think. All packs. Game packs. What do I not own? Oh yeah, right. Werewolves and Journey to Patu. Yep, yep, yep. That makes sense. Uh, stuff packs. I think I remember buying them all when they were still a thing. And I also do have the free stuff, the holiday celebrations and cream coolish guitar. I don't think I have ever placed that anywhere, but I do have it in case you want it. <laughs> you know where it is. I don't know if it's actually obtainable anymore. I have no idea. And I only have six, eight, nine, nine kits. I haven't bought them all. And two new ones were just announced, weren't they? So I'm way behind on these. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and even the, I think, hang on a minute, there was the, there was one that was free for a moment, I have that one, too. there it is, yeah, this one I have, I didn't see it on the list for some reason, I kind of want to get the industrial loft kit, Um, I might want to get the greenhouse haven thing, but I'm not too, you know, worried about these, they just add, you know, Items, clothes, stuff like that. So I'm, I'm not too fussed about that. Let's go and resume with Moyer. <coughs> oh, she's... Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I traveled and did a save. Yeah, that makes sense. I was like, hmm, we're home again. Well, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. This was on YouTube as well, this house. And it's a freaking cute... It did it. It's really hard to take into a screenshot and make it look cute, but look at this like entertainment area for friends and dining and stuff like that. This is gorgeous in this light. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, I love it. Okay. Uh, do you think we could go and look something else? I'm trying to remember where I have been building lately. Um, so Sequoia, for sure. I didn't change that house. Pretty sure. Uh, Robles Point, yeah, no, I didn't. Uh, I didn't change their house. I didn't change that house. But I did build here and I did put this on YouTube as well. I don't remember if it's on my gallery, though. So you need to let me know if you want something particularly to be uploaded because I don't pay attention to that. It's be This was an odd lot. It's very long and weird, weird, weird situation, but this is what we have here right now. It's a very red, red house and in like retro vibes here. Just shoot you a little bit like this. Yep. Okay. And then next. I don't know if I had something here. I do. I have 23 eucalyptus lane here as well. I I think I uploaded this one as well on YouTube. <laughs> uh huh? Daytime, there you go. Yeah, I definitely uploaded this on YouTube because I love this house. Absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites right now. Uh huh. Uh, there you go. You can see there's this seating area here that could be used as a dining area if you wanted to. If you wanted to make a full on uh, living room area over here, I wanted them to have a little bit of a look cozy cozy family time over here instead you know like yeah also there's a little toilet and then there's a, a bathroom a wet room situation yeah so there we go infant and toddler and then i don't think i did anything else here i didn't want to go and touch the celebration center or anything um, yeah, I didn't do anything else here. Let's go see if I did something in Copperdale. I have a feeling, yeah, I replaced that house over here with an Umbra Lodge that I have built years ago and I uh, changed the color scheme of it. There's obviously a new high school and I have changed the auditorium color scheme. I didn't refurnish it or change the look of it because I figured the less I change, the less like it's gonna back out, yeah? So, this is the scholar 
color scheme of it right now as an auditorium. Formal dance. It's a very white and light color as well. Probably should have stayed in really dark scheme to uh, make it, you know, mysterious and romantic, whatever. But I never went to formal dance. I, I don't know. We, we didn't, we had disco nights in our school. We didn't have formals, you know, so that's a little different. Here's high school graduation. I think it's very, very cute, cute. And career day auditorium. I think I uh, added a couple of tables. One more table, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Very basic, nothing fancy around here. Have I shown you the high school yet? I don't remember. Shall we go and look at it just in case? Let's let's just in case look at the high school because I don't remember if I've shown it to you yet. I have done some update videos of this save file, not as many as from the uh, some other other schools uh, schools save files, but um, you know we will find out. I put this uh, crib chair mat into the front yard because I figured maybe if we have like a game coming up game coming up uh the cheer lead group can be here and cheering on when the uh, other school teams show up i went with a very colorful and happy 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 thing with this one so we will see how it goes uh what happened to the this was a pool um i guess it's not a pool no more what has happened here Hang on a minute. Let's, uh... Oh yeah, I don't... What's going on? What are you gonna delete anyway? What's this? I'm gonna move you. Okay. And then... And what if I just raise you now? Is that that... Oh, you're... Okay. Let's... Uh -huh. So that needs to come pop out a little bit. Okay, so there is some issues I need to um, check out. I just don't ever know of them until I make an effort to come and look. There we go. And then there was a flooring. Those little pebbles, I believe. Can I find them little pebbles again? Wasn't that? Wasn't that, was it? Or was it this one? Could have been that one, yeah. And then we need to... Does that look stupid a little bit? I'll just do... Like so. I don't think I can paint the... Yeah, no. Well, it's not what it was supposed to be, but it is what it is now. Can we put that there? Yeah. Okay. It's not what it was supposed to be, but, uh, well, this is what it is now. So, this is why I keep trying to recheck things, but I can't ever promise that everything is checked out, because I, the game is massive nowadays, right? So, yeah. First we enter, let's go into this camera mode so it's easier for us to explore, right? Easier without a spoiler. So here is the um, cafeteria and there is of course all the <laughs> whatever they have won and whatnot. There's also a little bit of a snacky, snacky bar thing here in, if uh, you don't like what the uh, lunch lady is serving you. Uh, on to the left, we have very cute colored lockers and a one classroom, which has basically nothing in it. Because I figured the less there is, the less likely they're gonna get, you know, interrupted and disturbed by things. The classrooms are four, four sims, and I believe another four sims, because my game doesn't want to spawn too many teenagers, so I don't know into the school at the same time. I don't know if it's a limitation of the game itself or whatever, but uh, this is the other classroom. It has a little bit more in it. It even has a chess 
uh, chess uh, table because this is the science class apparently. I have plan to do so. Yeah, and th this side of the school has these kind of lockers. Very, very cute too. And then we have uh, unisex toilets. There's a couple of them with the funny, funky uh, uh, situation. Yes, yes. <laughs> and then we have the principal's office, um, which is just an office. Nothing fancy here, you know. There we go. So this is the whole layout. You might notice that the layout is very, very similar to a health center that I used to uh, have on my gallery. I, I think it's still there, to be honest, but it's a pre repurposed now. It, it is what it is here now. And I think I want to give you a dial of some sort. Oh, yes, I have CC on this. Right, I can't put any CC on this one. Um, can we put like yellow? Oh, that one. Why not? Let's use a tile for our principal's office. That's a little different, right? Oh, could, could there be... Or was it just this wall that had these colors? Yes, it is. Okay, let's see. No. I kind of wanted to continue with... Okay, so let's change that to yellow. I thought of the yellow first, but then I... Okay, much better. There we go. Yes. So happy. It's the same now as this classroom. I wonder if... This wall paper had some other color instead. We have used this one already. A purple? Oh, a purple! Ooh. But do we have anything that fits the purple floor? Anything in a purple floor color? I don't, I don't think we have. Um, that's a little too much. <laughs> I don't think there's a purple here either. There's like. Um, it's a little too pink. Oh gosh, why did I go and change things now? I regret, I regret all of it. Oh no. Oh shoot. Why did I do that? Why did you let me do this? <laughs> I'm blaming you because I can't blame myself. Of course I can't blame myself. Oh god, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. Um, um, no, no. The purple would have been very pretty. Purple would fit here perfectly because of the purple. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Why am I looking at it this way now? Oh, I changed it now. Is it bad? Is it? Oh, it's brutal, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Okay. Is there like? Mm -hmm. Let's go with the red. Let's go little dots. Nothing matches. Everything is perfect that way. Yep. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> Getting too attached to it now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It wasn't meant to be just for the high school video. Uh, uh, I think I updated Thrifty. I'm not sure what I did there though, but I'm pretty sure I updated it. So let's have a look. Yes, yes I did. All right, so here downstairs is now a cafe. All right, it has even a bathroom now in it. And then we have the thrift at the top with the two fitting rooms, of course, because we must have fitting rooms. But yeah, this way I separated it. It, it doesn't have a random empty space at the top now. So this is what we went with. Then we are going to go and check Tartosa. I think I have already went through this once. So there's a new building there. Uh, I changed this to a, this lounge state. I changed this to a museum. There is a rental over here and there's a wedding venue down here. So I think we can go and see this museum. I didn't change much about the build because I just found it very beautiful as it was. These um, game changer Builds have been very, very beautiful and it, it has stayed as a wedding location. So you can still spend 
a wedding here if you so wanted to. You don't need to, um, you know, go anywhere else to do it. You can make a little party over here and get married alongside. Families have gotten makeovers. Uh, Hikakia has moved in here because of MCC or neighborhood stories. Morland, I don't know who you are. And here is a Markovic family who you will get to know if you play my save file. Henford on Bagley. Um, not much changed here either because I absolutely adore these buildings. So this is what we have here. I don't remember if I got something new or changed something. There's obviously filled up st uh, spots here and there's not a single... Uh, there's one rental down in the center of the village now instead of, you know, outside the village. And then on the Mount Kumarebi, there is a bar, there is a park, there is a rental over here, and there is the lounge and obviously wedding venue on St. Path and then one rental down here, down here, up here. Uh, there's also a... This building is open for purchase if someone wants it. Okay, and one second. I'm sorry, it's the cats. It's the cats, you know the deal. <laughs> uh, I have renovated most of these apartments as well, if I remember right. Yes, yes, I have in Evergreen Harbor. Uh, there is a Grimwood and there is a Songbird over here. These are uh, builds I built for this. This town, in particular in mind, if I remember correctly. And this is an empty one. You can purchase it and furnish it as you wish. It is um, open your... <laughs> like, you can do what you want with it, really. It comes as is. And then the other one, if I remember correctly, was in similar state or was fully furnished. We'll find out just in a second. Oh yes, 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 yes. This doesn't even have a kitchen and bathroom included in the price, so you must um, purchase it for yourself. It is a little grim looking. It is like a new, new way of trying to copy the retro type of build. Well, what's going on with this one? Hello? Oh right, yes, the roof. <laughs> now it makes sense. I forgot. Uh, there's no nothing extra on the lot. Like they come as is. They they are ready built and for you to move in as you are. Uh, this one for a price of twenty three, almost twenty four thousand, and this for twelve. So they are very good starters where you want to start a little bit more rough, I suppose. And we have uh, uh, the station diner here, fully renovated, newly made. Um, a little bit of funky funky colors and things. This is a repurposed lot that I have from previously as a diner in my game as well. It has a lot of tables, a lot of dining space here. So you can be sure to be seated exactly on the bar. Because <laughs> I, I don't know how well it will work. I am still to try and play test it. But uh, yeah, we have two kit, uh, cooking areas. We have all the dining stuff things that we need here to be handled and of course because it's retro we still are separating females and males because we are edgy like that in this diner and then i haven't touched the community spaces i left them as were item wise i may have recolored them that's pretty much it and there is a, a bar that stayed over here uh, there is a house here that I was recolored. I believe the renovation was finished. We will go and see because I can't remember right now. Yes, 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 yes. This renovation is actually finished. The apartment is above. Yes, there we go. And it's like a barn looksy like. So it's kind of funny. Funny type of build here. Oh, and excellent. I have the cats playing inside now, so they're gonna make a lot of noise. I'm sorry about that. And then this build, I don't remember if this was an old one or a new one. We will find out just in a second. Ah, right. Yes. Okay, now I remember. This is an old 
old build of mine, very, very old, and I just plopped it in. I was like, it, it kind of fits in this area. It, it just, you know, called for it. It's, I don't know why, it just felt right. It could have been a one of those container homes as well, for sure. But this is what we went with, and this is what they have. What happened to your bed? Pretty sure you had a bed, didn't you? What happened to your bed? Oh, they're upstairs. Right, okay. I don't know what this room is, but they have it. <laughs> so, do whatever you want with it. <laughs> You have always the freedom to chase things. You, you, it seems it's not, you know, set in ways, so you can do whatever you want. Then I don't think I changed anything Bright Chester because I don't even play it anymore. I gave uh, Pleasant Sisters, I gave a makeover, but nothing else I have really changed. I gave them a couple of new lots here, but I didn't go and change any of these. So let's go and take a look at the cafe. So it's just a little cafe, it's a ruggedy little thing. It has the side where you order stuff, there's the bathrooms, and then there's the place where you sit and gossip about things in this, you know, very hipstery type of thing. You can add tables outside here too if you want them to sit outside. I decided against it because of weather reasons. And then the outside study. This was quite fun. A little uh, park area where you can come and study with your group of friends or, you know, do your group projects. So you can do it over here. A little bit of a park. Very simple, nothing fancy in it. You know, just a basic, basic, basic. Uh, Glimmerbrook I left untouched just simply because I don't play with magic people at all. Uh, Zulani, one of my favorite maps ever in this game, so yes, I have changed it. Uh, there's a beach over here, there's a couple of empty lots for you to do. There is even this, um, what was this lot called? Uh, Private Cove, it's untouched uh, to an extent. It has emptied inside, if I remember right. There's a couple of starter homes over here. Who has moved here? Oh, they have moved in there. Never mind, you have one starter home. Oh. It's a starter home. Where is my starter homes? There's no starter home here. Is there? Well, that's sort of. Kind of expensive. Anyway, <laughs> I thought there was two. Um, this kind of stands out. It is very modern. It is at the um, top of the hill situation. They wanted to buy it. They are... The company just wanted to have something modern in the village as well. And it kind of pissed off most of the people here. Yeah. Uh, Overlook is over here. It is completely different than what you have gotten used to. And then these couple of shore island homes over here. Strangerville story, not touching it. Not gonna go in spoiler for anyone. We have a little bar. I ch changed it. So there's a mini bar over here, so to speak. Like, look at it. So cute. Look. Adorable, amazing little thing. And um, one bathroom, I don't know what to say about it really. There's a little thing area here and you know, it just, it's just a little uh, trailer that was repurposed into a bar and it's absolutely adorable. It's literally one of my favorites. It even has a sunny aspect to it. And the bar used to be here, if I remember right. There is now a house here. There is a new house here. And there's another uh, trailer home over here. I did not touch uh, Mr. Cahill here or the old Pene Penelope, uh, the plane uh, house, because I figured they're just too cute to be touched. Uh, the archives, I did change. I admit, I did change this one. So now you have this type of library when you enter here and it is two levels i'm gonna oops, do it like this it's much easier it has uh, a lot of books it has sitting space it has computers uh, there is also a chess and children's drawing table area here so you know you can study here if you wanted to do your research on the mother Mm -hmm. 
Then this area is pretty much untouched. There is a couple of modern-ish homes here. There's a couple of empty lots if you wanted to go and, you know, build there. Delso Valley, we have three rich families over here. We have Zhang, we have Broke and Bailey Moon. Yes, even Broke. Broke has made it, I know. Unbelievable. Can you even recognize who is? Anyway. Then there is a Mirage Park triplets. There is a three houses on a one lot. Um, you can lock doors to make it multi-family lots. So that's amazing. Thompsons are over here and Mirage Park view house is over here. We also have a spa because I figured who doesn't want to have a spa when you have all the rich people living here, right? There is a park. There is a Starlight Boulevard gym and there is a lounge. lounge? Lounge. Oh, God, cannot fit it. <laughs> That's why we need to look look at the name again. Then there's this little Starlight Boulevard mini home over here. You can uh, buy that if you want to, you know, try and make your way up into the hill. <laughs> uh, Brindle Bay. We have the vet. We have a generic u-turn uh, situation here. I don't remember what I wanted it to be exactly. It was multi-purpose lot originally. What did I change it to now? What do we have here? Okay, yeah, sure. So we have uh, stores, we have a bakery, we have bar, you know, a restaurant and stuff like that. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep food place so you can literally choose whatever you want to keep it as. Do you want to buy it as a restaurant or whatever? Go for a bakery even. A uh, couple of houses here. We have the uh, little diner here again. I love my diners. <laughs> so this is what we have like a little bit more modern look to it. Very simplistic look. Nothing fancy, nothing you know too, too much, so to speak. We we changed it quite a bit from the original. Uh, this is what we have right now then. Yeah, I love it. It's amazing. I might have to move to this save file. <laughs> I love it so much. I have put so much uh, sweat, love and tears into it. There's also a wall, uh, pool over here and a family has moved into this big uh, house over here. We have a park at the um, uh, Dead Grass Isle. I'm not sure why there's a teen neighborhood marked in there, but maybe because there's a graveyard and they are just having, you know, a little bit of a moody <laughs> situation. We have big house over here. Apparently party house moved in there online and peace and quiet house, which doesn't make any sense to me. So I need to move them out. Lynx has moved into this a uh, peace and quiet crate so off the crate house over here with all her cats she wanted the peace and quiet from all this area because the restaurant and pool are really bringing the people in um, then there is a Cavalier Cove homestead over here so there's a little bit of a farming situation as well because of you know what do we have at the background here also got I don't know who you are but you have moved in as well there's a manor and there is Flex has moved into this Sable Square house over here, which is really nice. Also, Del Gatos are owning the Sable Square wet gear at the moment, so you know where your money goes when you are taking your vets to the <laughs> gear. Um, then there is Forgotten Hollow, which has gotten literally a Moonlit Vampire Escape residential lot I included in it. That's it. Count Valishlaut Stroud, um, uh, well... Something happened to him. You can see about that later by yourself when this uh, save file is out. Uh, in San Majuno, a lot has changed. All of the lots, all of the uh, apartments, everything have been updated or changed to a extent. We have one karaoke bar, we have a nightclub, we have a gym, we have a lounge, and we have the nightclub instead of a arch. Uh, center over here. We also have a restaurant. If I remember right, this was made by uh, 
EA. So, well, Maxis, should I say? Yes, yes, it was. Um, so it has been updated a little bit, nothing big or fancy, just, you know, someone updated. Windenburg completely renovated every single thing. Everything was updated. You have cafes, you have parks, you have restaurants, you have retail stores. You, you got it all here. Modern, less modern homes. That's, yeah, that's all here. Magnolia has all Maxis made uh, retail and art center and other type of lots here. Go with the theme. Newcrest, completely filled out. You do not get empty lots here. You have just filled up lots. And most of them in some sort of a 70s or retro vibes. <laughs> or modern retro. <laughs> Park and play also here. You, you get to play with your kids over here. It's a very perfect area and world to raise your children in. Then we had Oasis Springs. We have a museum over here and we have a restaurant over here. Uh, a Roman court. Absolutely stunning restaurant. You guys have to go and see it. We also have a pool made by Maxis. This was such a weird lot when I found it and I was like, I have to put it in my game. I just had to. It was so weird. Go and look at it. Then we have a nightclub, we have a gym and we have a cafe. And in between here, Villarreal has moved into these two houses because, uh, well, uh, Hugo wanted some privacy and life going on for himself. So everybody else moved into the other house and, you know, they just made a whole big deal about it. Container homes have moved into the Skyward Palms and Calientes are indeed still in the game. And you saw a little bit of the makeover I gave to them. I know. Then here is Roomies. They have two houses as well. They, they have separated, you know, too much is too much sometimes, and they decided this is the way to go. They didn't want to leave each other, but you know, this is the best way they could come with. There is quite a few empty lots here in separate, in different sizes. Uh, 2015, 2, 30, 10, 20, and 1, 40, 30. And this is the Moyer house that we already saw. And then as a last one, I promise I'll quit soon, Below Creek. This is the first one I started with and it has stayed pretty much as was. Nothing really has changed from the first time I made it. Nothing much to say about it. There is park, there is, you know, everything that you need. Yeah. So this is what we have. How do you feel about it? Are you excited? Because I freaking am. All I have to do is now all the household makeovers and some of them I have already done. Some are still waiting. So thank you. And I hope you had good time to see what I have as a little bit of a longer sneak peek, so to speak. So yeah, happy simming and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.